So recently I've been weaving on frames where you don't cut the tapestry off when you're done and I wanted to try one with a different shape. I made a template out of paper and cut it out of plywood. It has waves in it and I'm thinking that if I can warp it this way then it might be really cool to keep the tapestry um, wavy and give it some movement. My idea was to make the top and bottom wavy like this and then add two supports on either side on the inside of the loom um, that will be hidden and will be attached to keep it all together. I marked out some evenly spaced holes on the top and bottom wavy part and then I drilled them with a drill so that I could put my warp string there. I also used a Dremel to help me sand all of the nooks and crannies to get everything nice and smooth. Then I used wood glue and some nails and I clamped the whole frame together and let it dry. Then I used some warp and a needle and I just went back and forth warping up and down through the holes that I had drilled. And here it is, the finished loom. I was so excited to finally begin weaving. Um, I wasn't sure how it works, so I did a little bit of experimenting and found that it worked best if I kind of wove in a zigzag fashion instead of straight across in one line. I also decided to wrap the bottom of the loom so that you can see if I add fringe, I just thought it would be better if it was wrapped so that the wood doesn't show through as much. Then I started weaving. I began with some layers of blue, starting with a dark blue and ending with a light blue. And then I kept going and ended with this pinkish red, did a little gradient from the light blue to the red. Then for the rest of it, I just stuck with neutrals um, and lots of texture. I found that using weaving techniques like sumac and knotting and twining worked best with the shape of the warp, the way the warp um, goes up and down and is wavy. The tabby kind of pulled the warp a little bit flat and I wanted to keep as much of the movement as I could. So I just added a lot of texture and used knotting a lot with thick materials. It definitely took some practice weaving on a warp like this that had hills and valleys, but I got used to it and decided to finish with some gold metal sequins. And the very last step was just to trim all the fringe so it's nice and even. Here's the finished product. I was so happy with this project. It was lots of fun and it turned out great.